everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve a blue screen error message you're receiving on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer that the error message is 0x000000BE, attempted write to read only memory. And this error message typically will occur when a driver is attempting to write on a read only segment of your computer's memory. So if your system manages to identify the driver that's causing the error, the driver is going to be mentioned near the stop message. So that's always a good place to start. So if it actually has a drive file name, you might want to look that up online, see if there's any specific troubleshooting for that particular driver, or if anyone else has had particular problems with it. And then if you are having a problem with a particular driver that you're able to identify, you can go on to the search menu, type in device manager, Best result, should come back with device manager. Go ahead and open that up. You would double click on the category of the driver and then double click on the driver listed under here. So whatever the driver would be, would be there. And then if you selected the driver tab, there might be an option to roll back the driver. So I'd recommend selecting that again in the event that you're able to identify the particular driver that is acting problematic. So that's the first thing I recommend doing here. We can also try to run a memory diagnostic utility as well in order to see if there's an issue with our memory. So there's different causes for blue screens that isn't always as obvious as it may appear on the surface. So if you're actually having hardware related issues, this tutorial is not gonna be able to fix broken memory. However, if there's some sort of system corruption, hopefully that would be able to be resolved by the following steps in this video. So in order to, to do that, you would go ahead and open up the search menu, type in memory diagnostic, best result, should come back with Windows memory diagnostic, go ahead and open that up. So check your computer for memory problems, memory problems can cause your computer to lose information or stop working. We're going to select restart now and check for problems, which is recommended. It, make sure you save and close it of any open programs or applications before you proceed. We're going to go ahead and select that at this point. Now this will take some time to run, depending on how much memory your computer has, obviously. So you just want to have to give this a couple minutes to run here. So generally, I would just let this finish. It will fix problems that identifies. However, just for the sake of time, I'm going to go ahead and actually cancel out of this by escaping, by clicking the escape key, I should say more appropriately. And then we're just going to boot back into Windows here. But generally, you guys understood what we were doing there. Let that scan run to completion. And then hopefully the issue should have been resolved at that point. One final thing we can try here as well, if you open up the search menu and type in CMD, best results should come back with command prompt. Right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now into this elevated command line window, type in SFC and then a space forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard to begin the system scan. This will take some time to run, so please be patient.
Okay, so once that has finished, go ahead and close out of here. Anyone want to restart your computer at this time? And then hopefully this point or issue should have been resolved. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.